and a box to save your life. We dive into AOA. AOPA Live this week begins in just a moment. Well, angle of attack indicators can be a valuable safety tool in the cockpit, and they are becoming more common in general aviation. But how do you use one, and what do they really tell you? CFI Lawrence Balter demonstrates a landing using AOA as the primary instrument. What is angle of attack? Why is it so important? For generations, we have been teaching pilots to use the airspeed indicator. It's the only proxy of an instrument that we have to know what the wing is doing. The problem is airplanes can stall at any airspeed. So what we need is an instrument to tell us what is the health of the wing? How close are we to losing our lift? The leading cause of general aviation accidents, 60% is loss of control. So what I'm looking for now essentially is a half blue donut uh, on the final and a short final to the blue donut. I am not watching the airspeed indicator. I could care less about airspeed. Airspeed is a byproduct. Airspeed is energy. AOA is lift, and all I'm concerned about is lift. So I always ask the same question when a pilot that has never flown angle of attack to come sit down with me and we talk about it. And I say, what is 1.3 VSO for your airplane? And they all kind of have to either make a calculation or, you know, they've been taught a certain speed to fly. The problem is the speeds that they're given in the books and in the manuals are always at maximum gross weight in 1G environment. So if we look at what angle of attack does, 1.3 VSO really corresponds to what we call the blue donut. So you can see I'm just kind of flirting with the blue to a half blue, which is fine. Remember, AOA is... The, the blue donut is irrespective of the weight of the airplane. It's irrespective of density altitude. And it's always going to be the same angle of attack. We are at the sweet spot right now. Now, if you could see my vertical speed, you'll see that we're between 300 and 400 feet per minute descent rate. The wind's shifting a little bit, staying on center line. All right, and I'm just bringing the power off. And then the key is the transition, the rollout. See, I'm in ground effect right now, and there's the blue donut, okay? And it's telling me, hey, I'm getting a little bit slow and then we just bring it in nice and gentle, and there we go, that's it. You can find more flying technique videos on our YouTube channel.